morning guys welcome to 365 vlog day 46 it is February the 15th 2019 as you can see I am yet again in the car seems to be a popular place for us to meet lately right anyway um, I am I just left work it's about 20 after 4 just left work and I am headed to South Haven Mississippi about 25 minute drive I guess I got to drop Bo off he is going to spend the weekend with Adam and his family. He really loves going over there. He loves Adam to pieces. Adam is our superintendent. He really loves Adam. And Adam and them have a dog. His name is Bullet. They get to play a lot. He loves playing with it. He has a couple of kids that all play with him. He's like in hog heaven over there. So he really enjoys getting to go. He's always ready for me to come get him. Don't get me wrong. But he does get to have fun for a little while. So... We are on the way to drop him off. He is actually sound asleep in his bed in the back seat, actually. You know, normally he's up here, but his bed is in the car, obviously, so he can have a bed while he's there. And I put it on the back seat, and he just curled up into it. So, <laughs> familiar territory, I guess. And anyway, I've got a super busy evening. I've got, let's say, it's about 25 minutes or so to Mississippi. And then it'll be almost an hour to get home by the time rush hour hits and you know because it's 25 minutes there then 25 back to here and then my house is another 25 so it's going to be pretty close to an hour if not a little more so it's liable to be 6 or 6 30 before I actually get home yeah probably and then when I get home when I do get home I have got one load of laundry that's got to get done and I got to uh, get clothes together for, you know, what I'm going to wear tomorrow. And then, of course, change clothes for Sunday. And then all that stuff done, I got to get <clears throat> a shelter for Sam. Now, it's not going to expect it to rain hard here, just drizzling off and on. And then it's supposed to stop, and then it's not supposed to start again until after we get home. But just in case, I want to make sure... He's got a way to get out of the rain if he needs to. In a quarter mile, slight right to stay on Jack Carley Causeway. Sorry, GPS is on, you guys, as you know. I don't exactly know where I'm going. I'm a good idea, but... So, forgive the directions. There are going to be a couple of them here in the next several minutes. Anyway, uh, I want to make sure Sam has a way to get out of the rain if he wants to. Because I won't be there to let him in. And like I said, it's, we're not expecting torrential rain. Slight right to stay on Jack Carley Causeway. Just scattered light showers here and there so what I did is I have a tarp and I got in 1,000 feet turn right onto the ramp to Jackson miss sorry y'all it's gonna be that one more time I got some uh, heavy-duty yarn that we use around the shop and stuff there's nylon twine, whatever I don't know what you call it it's pretty heavy duty though turn right onto the ramp to Jackson miss then merge onto I-55 south and then uh, so I'm going to use that with the tarp and string it between the tree and the fence line, which will give him a, a nice big area to be totally out of the weather if he wants to be. Continue on I-55 South for five miles. We do actually have plans for a, an actual doghouse for him. Uh, I actually have the material for it. It's just a matter of finding time for Andy to get over here and help me get it all picked up and get it out of the house and make it. So for now, this one will do temporarily. Obviously, I can't leave him in the house for two days, but he'll be okay overnight. I mean, it's not going to be a total two days. I'm leaving tomorrow morning, and I'll be back Sunday afternoon. So, And the neighbors are going to look at him. The kids next door said they'll keep an eye on him. So that'll be nice. You know, they said if it looks like there's a problem, they'll call me. So... I think he's going to be fine, but like I said, I do want to make sure he can get out of the rain and stay dry. You know what I mean? He's got a real thick coat. He's probably not going to notice it, but I just don't want to do that to him because I'm his mama and I love him. So, that's pretty much what I know. I'm trying to think if there's any... Oh! I had one thing today that Cher pointed out and I hadn't even noticed Holy cannoli! You guys, the uh, live stream from the other night that I told you was so fun with so many new people and all. 
1.1, almost 1.2 million, or thousand views. That'd be nice, right? Over 1.1 thousand views on that video, which is, holy cow, the only other video that I have that's anywhere close to that is Tennessee Whiskey. You know, normal average for me is between 150 and 300. So, to have that one go a thousand views is just, woohoo! I am like so excited about that. So, that is super, super cool. And thank you to all of you. Thank you so much to all of my new friends and all of my old friends and my family. You guys are awesome. So, I am going to get this road trip done. Drop Bo off. I'm going to miss him tonight, but it'll be nice for Sam. He'll be inside the house with me tonight. So, I won't have to worry about separating. He'll be actually able to hang with me all night, so that'll be fun, too, because he's just such a love. And, you know, normally I bring him in after I get home from work, and either he's in his room and Bo's running around with me, or the opposite nights I put Bo in his room and Sam gets to run around with me. But this being one of those, he gets two in a row because he was with me last night. So, anyway. Um... I'm going to get home and get all that done, and then I've got, like I said, a little laundry I need to do, so I make, I need some clean underwear to take to, to Kentucky, and to get that done, so. In two miles, take the I-55 south exit toward Jackson Miss. Quick, get a quick shower, and lay out my clothes for in the morning, and so, because sleepy eyed, I don't want to think about it, and a change of clothes for Saturday night, toothbrush and that kind of stuff, so kind of what I'll be doing. I'll check back in with y'all here in a little while, probably when I, after I drop Bo off, I'll pop on and say hi to y'all real quick on the way back. So, I'll talk to y'all in a bit. See ya. Hey guys. So, I just dropped Bo off. I don't know how much of it you can see, but Adam lives out in the country in South Haven. It is a neighborhood, but it's still a country neighborhood. So, it's just really pretty out here. I got him dropped off. <sighs> I got a nice big fire pit going over there at the neighbors. Anyway, they're headed back home. Bo is playing with Bullet, and let's just politely say hormones have kicked in, and Bo doesn't realize that Bullet's a boy. They're going to have a fun weekend, and Adam's wife just laughs. So, she's kind of, she said, yeah, bullets that way around dogs too. So, she's at least used to it. And they've kept it before. So, they're familiar. He knows them. He loves all of them. The kids play with him all the time. He's got bullets to play with. And he loves being over there. So, just going to miss him. My goodness. I'm not, you know, I don't spend too many nights without him cuddled up next to me. So, anyway, I am headed home. And got to get a structure built for Sam. Something, like I said, it's not going to be much. I said earlier, just a tarp strung between the tree and a fence. But it's enough to give him a place out of the rain. So, <sighs> that's kind of what I know. Yeah. So, I got about a 50-minute drive home, something like that. As long as the traffic isn't too horrible. So... Hopefully it'll all go well. Be a smooth drive home. Get the laundry started and get Sam taken care of. Then he can come inside with me. And I've got so much to do. I'm probably just gonna stop and grab something for supper because I really don't have the energy to cook right at the moment. It's all this I've got to do too. I'm just gonna be. I'm running out of energy. It's close to that time of the day and too close to infusion day, but that's okay. So, more than anything, I'm thirsty. I've got to stop and get something to drink. So, anyway, that's pretty much what I know. So, I guess I'll holler at y'all when I get home. See you in a bit. Hey, guys. This is going to be a super short vlog, and I'm... I'm sorry about that, but I think you'll understand and be okay with it. Um, as you can tell, just got a shower. It is 10 minutes to 9. And uh, I have been running 
since I left work, just crazy. Um, I left, as you saw, I went straight to Mississippi and took Bo and dropped him off. And, you know, I visited for a few minutes with Adam's wife. And she's just a sweet, sweet girl. Really sweet. And uh, visited with her for a little bit. She homeschools her kids, so they were working on a homework assignment and book project. So we talked about that a little bit. And then... Bo and his gender crisis. Their dog, Bullet, is also a male, but that's okay. She's used to it, too. She said it's <laughs> Bullet's the same way. So, anyway. Um, yeah, so then I left there. I swung into Sonic. Grabbed a chili cheese dog and a drink. Called it good. Made it home. I had to construct construct the shelter for Sam and y'all let me tell you it's up and it will do what I need it to do but about the time that I got home the rain started and I'm telling y'all by the time I was done I was absolutely drenched head to toe shivering freezing cold I could barely feel my hands not sure how I even tied the last couple of knots but I got it done you know because as much as I wanted to just go back inside, I can't do that to Sam, you know. That's that's not being a responsible mommy. So, I finished it up. Then I came in and I sat for just a few minutes and talked to Andy while he had service. As y'all know, with this weather the way it is, he gets his services in and out with satellite. So, I talked to him for a few minutes and finalized the times and when I'm going to get there and all that kind of stuff. So, I got that done. I went in and... Got the jeans out of the dryer, put the whites in the dryer, put another load of clothes in the washer, which is uh, Andy's clothes and my clothes and what's getting worn tomorrow. He had left a few things here inadvertently that week he was here. So I went ahead and just washed them up and I'll take them and he won't have to worry about packing because I'll have his clean clothes with me. So those are in the, and now just went into the dryer. So I got the jeans out of the dryer, put the whites in the dryer, put those clothes in the wash. Then I went in and took a shower, as you can see, and then I went back and got the whites out of the wa dryer, put the other clothes in the dryer, and I'll get them out in the morning and fold them up real quick and put them in a bag that was getting packed to go with us, but <sighs> I'm tired, y'all, <laughs> and I've got to get up at 3.30, which is why this is going to be a short, short vlog. Um, I'm going to be up at 3.30. I will be leaving here. 4.30, 4.45, something like that, um, to pick Andy up, and then we'll be headed to Bub's. We've left enough time to stop for breakfast along the way, and uh, I even joking asked, jokingly asked him, I said, honey, can I just lay my head in your lap and go back to sleep and you drive or to start with? <laughs> He's like, sure, honey. He's so good to me. Probably won't happen, because by the time I get to him, I will have already been up two hours, and driving and actually almost three hours that I will have been up and I'll be wide awake but that's all right nice to know that options there right so anyway everything now is done so tomorrow's vlog should be lots of fun there will be lots more content oh, you bugger I hate when that happens um so it'll be a nicer vlog. I will definitely, I am taking the uh, phone holder thing. I am taking it with me so we can get you some really pretty scenery and road pictures along the way. And I gotta remember to take Bob a sticker. In fact, I think I'll go do that here as soon as I wrap this up and put a couple in my purse and I know I won't forget them. So anyway... I'm getting my butt into bed. It is 9 o'clock by the time I get this edited and up. It's going to be a few minutes after 9. And I'll say 3.30 is going to come around for early. So I'm getting my butt into bed. So I hope you guys have had a great day. I hope you're excited about tomorrow because I am. And I will talk to y'all on the next vlog. Good night, everybody. Love y'all.